gosh, oh my god! Yeah, you guys like that, huh? Good. Now I can take you for a counterintuitive spin. I don't even hate furries. I, in fact, have basically an indifference for them. But why'd you just kill one then? For the satisfaction of viewers like you, of course. And to get funny, sensitive furries to hilariously lash out at me instinctively over something they didn't like. You might be asking, well, if you don't hate furries, then what is this video about? Well, honestly, I'm quite tired of getting comments from furries saying all this cringe-ass crap when my views have changed. How's a guy supposed to relax when I'm getting comments telling me I'm a racist for not liking a particular fandom they're in? And also because, let's be honest, this is incredibly freaking awful! Oh my god, I can't believe I used to look like that! So, I really just want to update my responses and give you a better understanding of where I stand with all this nonsense. Now, I'm not saying I'm supporting these freak shows or anything like that. I'm certainly not ever going to be remotely part of their fandom, but I'm also not some fucking douchebag who actually condones any type of murder. Unless, of course, you're a pedophile. I mean, in that case, uh, you should, like, go get a gun, put it to your temple, and, uh, like, pull the trigger. No, like, seriously, stop living. Alright guys, let me correct myself on something I said previously. I called these types of people young furries. But the more scientific term is animation meme. Fucking flip the rip off ass. But a lot of them have said they don't consider themselves furries. Even though they have like one of those animorph representations of themselves, they transform it and shit. I already made a video specifically on these fellows. But I'll just touch on the things I hate about them. I'm not saying I hate them all by the way. These are just some of my pet peeves. You know, a lot of them are always making drama with each other. Like this shit makes themselves me want to sell their OCs kind of just got me like goodness gracious some of them just post their porn for everyone to see oh and crap and that's just God. nasty I mean yeah I'd be lying if I said I haven't drawn a bit of titty in my life but do I have like a fucking public pornography ball where I force people to browse and look at that shit no also almost all of the reminders and like uh that attracts the people who like should stop breathing forever and we don't want that <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, furries can draw really well. I've said that in my other video, and I'd stand by that same point now. A lot of the things they make are super oh. cute, and on the same wholesome level as Keanu Reeves and Call Me Carson's love for insociable brain-dead fan kids. But yikes, they have got to be one of the most sexual fandoms I've oh, ever seen, like, no. by far. And I think when furries are really prolific in any fandom at all, they're the ones that are quick to make sure that the 34th rule of the internet applies to it. <sighs> Leaving people like me to have a negative opinion about that particular fandom entirely. Thing is though, it's not that hard to ignore, and I guess they're just doing what they like to do, and there's nothing really I can do about it. But come on you guys, when I see a furry fight Bart Simpson with a 30 foot uticock, I'm probably not gonna want you to watch the Simpsons anymore. In all my years of studying the arts of arousal and gathering intellect of the art of wiener rubbing, not once have I came across a furry who didn't have some weird ass kink. I've learned there's the psychological transmorphic art of toe licking, American transformation, nipple jump rope, and amongst some other new frequencies of odd neuron inducing acts as well. Now of course, I can't link these odd things to the entire fandom because really everybody in the world has a different turn on, but these guys have ascended from our pathetic state and have been able to find pleasure in the most odd of oddities, such as diaper wearing. The fuck? There is no way people can wake off to a couple of wadded up trees molded into the shape of underwear. These guys really are advanced. Some of them even know how to pop one of these shits in the microwave and somehow not manage to die of some foreign disease. They even got like some new superpower that comes with it. Uh, hair, hear, hear piece? Damn, I want some of that. They've also managed to get the slightest boner at the fantasy of a human skull sliding down their digestive tract. But yeah, there's some things that are not okay. You know, the zoophilic stuff? Clifford Shaft is not a fucking sleeping bag. I don't know how many times I have to say it. However, these things aren't always like the furries. I'd say a lot of zoophiles are furries, but in comparison, a lot of furries aren't zoophiles. I mean, it's still a lot than a lot of other fandoms, which is, that's still pretty bad. But it's zoophiles that I want to chop up into many little pieces and feed to piranhas. And I would never even think about putting the furry on the same level as a zoophile, because that is far worse. Unless, of course, they are furry, then, uh, yeah, to hell with them. 
let you know, there's all kinds of varieties of these things. Black ones, white ones, gay ones, base ones, gay ones, gay ones, gay ones. Damn. But that's just what I'm saying. Not that they're gay or anything. I just don't hate furries in general, because they're all different. Some are cool, and others should just bleed out entirely. I just don't understand them. And that's fine, because chances are if I did, I'd probably be a stegosaurus right now. I walk a lonely road the old Nonetheless, I don't purely use all my energy to try and get them to kill themselves or spend my time looking up furry porn just to say EW! NASTY! And I'm sure that's what a lot of you fellas do. For real, like, don't purposely try and find furries and whatever if you apparently hate them because there's a huge chance that you'll become one of them. I've known many quote-unquote anti-furries that have joined the side of the Sith purely from hanging around them and it's pretty clear that you're just a closeted furry if you constantly say Oh my god! Oh my god! I fucking hate furries! I fucking hate furries! Like, all the goddamn time. Because for real, if you hated them, you wouldn't put yourself around them or try and look them up. And to the fascist slash communist Russian band kids out there, it's not cool, it's lame, and I think you should get a better hobby other than finding furries to harass on the internet. Oh no 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 no, I I'm built different. That was so fucking unfunny. Oh, what's that? Oh lord! Ham, activate the giant lawnmower. <laughs>